The only thing, the only thing that is more American than apple pie, folks, it is the ability to pay your rent by having people view pictures and videos of your butthole on their cell phones. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. And this beautiful American tenant was doing just that until she ran into some piece of crap slumlord in Miami, Florida. Boo this man, folks. Boo this man. This butthole hating jerk is giving landlords a bad name for what he did to this true entrepreneur. Let's take a look at the story. Let's unpack what happened and why myself, a fellow landlord, wants to boo this man. Welcome to the Landlords from Hell show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to pull back the curtain on the real estate business, y'all. I myself am a landlord, okay? I have done a lot. We run a $75 million portfolio in our market. So I know a thing or two about the landlording business. And you know what there is out there, folks? There's good landlords, and then there's bad landlords. And what we do, what we do on the Landlords from Hell show, folks, is we expose bad landlord behavior. I don't want to see it. There's no reason for it. It gives the rest of us a bad name, right? People come around and they call us slumlords, right? Everybody who hears you're a landlord, Oh, you must be a slumlord. You're at Thanksgiving tur uh, dinner just trying to get some turkey in you. And Aunt Sally's like, oh, you're a landlord? <laughs> you must be a slumlord. No, Aunt Sally. All of us are not slumlords. Only a few are. And that's what brings me to today's story. I don't like what this landlord is doing, okay? This story, it's making the rounds, okay? A few places they're... Uh, Putting out some articles about it, okay? And folks, I'm going to go ahead and link the full articles in the notes below. So if you'd like to read further on the story uh, than what you see here, you absolutely can do that, right? This girl, entrepreneur, right? Models landlord doubled rent after finding out she is a millionaire OnlyFans star. This girl's just trying to make an honest living, right? Got all these articles. This landlord, he only inspected her body. Model says landlord doubled rent after finding out about OnlyFans. By the way, folks, for some reason you live under a rock and uh, you have no idea what OnlyFans is. Uh, OnlyFans is a social media website uh, where you get a channel, you can do pictures, you can do video, uh, and people subscribe to it, okay? Typically, what you're doing, uh, what lovely young ladies like this chick are doing, is uh, a lot of those pictures usually involve your butthole, uh, you know, Nothing more American than showing your butthole for money, right? And this chick, Rami Chase, she's making a lot of money showing off her butthole, okay? She's got 1.8 million followers on Instagram, right? And you know I went ahead and linked her IG below. We need to help out our girl Rami Chase because I don't like what this landlord did to her, right? And then, of course, you know we got, we got our OnlyFans link up there below now. I don't have access to our OnlyFans. I am not a subscriber. Although, uh, the blowjob and titty fuck is only $5.49 for 30 days. Uh, so that's 45% off, folks. So uh, if you are interested in Rami Chase and the blowjob and titty fuck, $5.49 for the next 30 days. Uh, this is what she's got going on, right? This is the girl. This is from her IG. All right. Just a good old fashioned American entrepreneur. Living her life. There's nothing more American than that girl. God bless the USA, Rami Chase. Thank you for what you do. Okay, look at that. Even taking safety protocols. She's like, COVID, I'm masking up. I ain't one of those anti-vaxxers. I'm all about being safe, right? She's got to make sure her assets are safe. 
And I got to tell you, maybe this guy did this because he felt that her assets were not safe, being that it was multi-floor apart. I mean, dude, how much do those things weigh? Oh, my Jesus. Anyway, so here's the situation, folks. Let's get serious. Because I, I, I mean, joking aside, right, this girl, I mean, this is kind of ridiculous what this guy did. Like, total asshole move by this landlord, okay? So she rents four-bedroom apartment. She's doing so in Miami, Florida. She rents this apartment. Her rent, it's $2,300 a month, right? So this girl renting her apartment, $2,300 a month. Uh, nothing that says she's a bad tenant in any way, okay? Uh, then she gets on OnlyFans, and she makes a million bucks in her first year on OnlyFans because, again, she's got the assets. I mean, the girl's running around with freaking two basketballs stuffed in her tank top for crying out loud, okay? I mean, Jesus. The titty fucking blowjob was only five forty nine. I mean, ah, dude, folks, I'm in business to make money. I know a good deal when I see one. That is a value proposition if I've ever seen one. Anyway, so what had happened is because of this, because this landlord, this greedy bastard, although he's actually not even really greedy, he didn't do it uh, for greed, to my understanding, to my, uh, my, my take, my opinion on the topic. I'll tell you what I think he did. Uh, and what she thinks he did here shortly. But anyway, so he realizes that she is taking those two basketballs stuffed in her T-shirt and, in his opinion, using them for evil, not for good, okay? She's out there showing them off to the world on the OnlyFans there, right? So decides to more than double her rent. It's like a 120% increase. Takes her up to 4800 right? Uh, when interviewed by... Uh, some of the reporters for the various articles, which, again, I'll link all the full articles below for you in your reading pleasure. Uh, Rami said when he came over, the only thing he, like, says he's coming over to her house uh, to do a unit inspection, okay? For those of you not in the know, landlords will typically do unit inspections, right? Uh, some folks do them every month. Those folks are crazy. Some folks do them every quarter, sometimes every six months, but more more often than not, you usually see them done every year, okay? For instance, when investors hire Holton Wise uh, to manage their rental properties, we do inspections as much or as infrequently as you want, but we usually uh, recommend you guys do your annual inspections. By the way, if you are interested in investing in real estate and want to partner with Holton Wise, uh, click the link below to book a free call. I have sold over $200 million worth of real estate. I know a thing or two about tenants, but in managing tenants and making money with real estate. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about what this man did to my girl, Rami Chase. All right. So under the guise of a unit inspection, uh, homeboy apparently goes to uh, inspect her apartment. And this is what she had to say. When he came over, the only thing he inspected was me. Well, I mean, you got two basketballs shoved in your T-shirt. Just kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. Sir, you are not there to inspect her T-shirt. He actually didn't inspect anything. He walked in and paced around, and I'm like, okay, what's happening? He wasn't actually looking at anything. All of a sudden, he's like, I found you on Instagram. Well, of course he did, bro. She's got 1.8 million followers, man. One point. 8.01, because I just saw the kid filming me right now subscribe with the Holton Wise account. Anyway, <clears throat> all of a sudden, he's like, I found you on Instagram. I'm like, oh, okay. He gave me a sort of attitude. You could see he didn't like this. It's a legal job. I'm paying taxes. I have registered as a small business. And she's now speaking, of course, about her OnlyFans business, right? She made a milli first year. She says, I wasn't going to waste my time trying to explain myself. I didn't have anything to explain. A few weeks later, Rami, who was originally from Poland, received a letter informing her of the changes to her agreement. Now, I don't like what they did here. I don't like what they, and they, they led up to something with this. This pissed me off, right? They're trying to play the race card, all right? This doesn't have nothing to do with race. I don't know what it is with the media, all the Wokies out here trying to just interject race into stories that have nothing to do with race. Uh, more on her being from Poland shortly. But like this, irrelevant to the story, in my opinion. All right. Uh, so long story short, uh, after the inspection, right, the unit inspection where homeboy, the lamest, most stick in the mud type landlord of all time. And dude, the dude is in Miami, folks. It's Miami. It's, it's Miami, man. It's not like it's freaking Boise, Idaho, man. I would anticipate if you got, uh, I mean, 
dude, it's Miami. If you're going to be like an OnlyFans star or a model, like you're going to L.A., you're going to Vegas, you're going to Miami, or like the, maybe New York, right? Those are like the four places you're going, bro. Come on, man. I mean, dude, if you're a landlord in Nebraska, maybe, maybe we can anticipate you having these feelings, pal. But come on, man. It's Miami. Anyway, so after the unit inspection, uh, she was told to pay – the increased rate within 60 days or she had to leave. Remember, she was paying 23. Now uh, he wanted to jack it up to 48, right? That's 120% uh, increase. And, you know, he did do everything legally, okay? He had a 60-day uh, period, right? He gave her notice, hey, within 60 days, this is the new rental rate. Totally legal. Nothing illegal about that, right? I know you get all the damn wokies that are like, ah, oh, you can't do that. I'm going to talk to my lawyer. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to talk to my lawyer. Bro, it's all nothing illegal with that, right? It is his property. He is within his legal right to do this, folks. There is nothing protecting her from him increasing his rent by law, okay? So she says, it's 120% increase during a time when people are just barely surviving, leaving me in a bad spot to say the least. Come on. Come on, Robbie. Robbie, we're on your side here, okay? We love what you're doing here on Holton Wise TV. I love it. Girl, you're working it, man. You are working what God and some plastic surgeons, I'm guessing, have given you, okay? You are working it, and you are doing great. So great you made a million bucks, so I'm not sure – why you're pulling the, the card of, like, people are barely su surviving, bro. You just made a million dollars showing people your butthole. I mean, you're doing okay. So we, we don't have to go the woe is me. People are barely surviving. There actually are people out there who are barely surviving, Rami. It is not you. You are doing very well for yourself. As you should, though. You deserve everything you are getting. You are working hard. You have a great small business. And I 100% uh, am in support of what you're doing, right? I love it, okay? Uh Back to what she said, though. Just, you know, don't don't play the victim card like, oh, I can't afford it, big, bad, rich, horrible landlord. Like, bro, you're making a million bucks a year, dude. Like, you are now the big – you are a one percenter, okay? You're a one percenter. You can't play the, oh, everybody, oh, people are struggling, COVID. Bro, you're a one percenter now. You're welcome to the club, sweetie. You're in the club, okay? I thought this was insane. None of this was in the initial lease that I signed. I don't actually believe that. I'm assuming it was. Uh, pretty much every lease gives you the terms, 12 months, and we'll also give you, like, the terms of, like, uh, you know, what he could do, like, when he wants to change uh, the terms and, like, what notice is required. And there he had a 60-day, which is more than enough. Most places you only have to give a 30-day. For instance, at Holton Wise, if you uh, go to a month-to-month -month lease, that's, like, say we had a 12-month lease, okay? Say it's January 2022 to January 2023. Uh, then at the end of that, you revert to a month-to-month -month lease. We can change the terms, change the rent amount uh, with a 30-day notice. And a 30-day notice is all we typically provide, which is actually what most landlords in reasonable states in the United States provide. Now, I know the Wokies uh, out there are doing crazy stuff in, like, your L.A.s, your Seattle's, your Portland's, where, like, it's not even America. It's some weird communist nation. So I don't even know what the rules are out there, but they're bad. But, like, in normal places like Florida – uh, 30 day notice is probably all that's required. So he did give her an extra month, even though again, fuck that guy. All right. So anyway, so she thought it was insane. None of this was in the lease that, uh, she signed. I don't believe her. Uh, she contacted some lawyers and, uh, they're pretty much like, yeah, bro, nothing you could do. Cause like it's the law, which it is. So he is well within his legal rights. Is he a douchebag? 100%. Total douchebag, but did not break any laws. That's pretty much what her lawyers told. And then they go back onto the race thing. My landlord knew I was an immigrant. He knew my finances, and quite frankly, I felt targeted. I was so upset. This was just very chaotic and hectic time, okay? I'm third-party observer, right? I'm not in the situation. I'm on her side, but I, I don't like the race thing here, right? They did it earlier to try to, like, you know, alley-oop this, right? Like, we're talking Miami, folks. Like, a little D-way to LeBron action here. I'm not feeling this alley-oop, folks. You brought up the fact that she was from Poland earlier uh, just so you could go with the sympathy card here. Now, I mean, I think it's pretty clear from what I see the guy is uncomfortable with her being an OnlyFans model is option A. Or option B, he's just a greedy son of a bitch. He's like, whoa, this girl makes a million bucks. I can get a payday out of it. 
Uh, I think it's probably the first one, though, because of how she said he had an attitude. And no matter what your tenants are making, folks, you have to rent your units at market rent prices, right? This is America. Rents are going to be determined by the free market. Just because you have a tenant who's making X amount of money and then somehow that tenant now makes a whole bunch of money, it doesn't mean you can just double their rent. They're like, no, oh, okay. They're just going to move, bro. Like, you're giving her the value of 2300 Just because she makes more money now doesn't mean she's giving it to you, dumbass. Like, she's going to move, and that's exactly what she did. But I think that was his idea. Like, I just don't think he felt comfortable, right? So the two schools of thought is, I'm uncomfortable with you. I'm going to make your rent so high that you make the decision to move out of my place so I can rent it to somebody who I feel more comfortable with, which, you know, that is his legal right. I don't have a problem with that. I don't think that should be outlawed. But, I mean, I could still call a spade a spade. Bro, you're a fucking douchebag. She went on, he showed zero emotion and basically said between the lines, either pay the rent at this exuberant price or get the fuck out. So she, of course, knowing the value he was providing and the fact that it wasn't a $4,800 value, she said, I got the fuck out. And uh, when I told him, he informed me that I didn't give him enough notice and was losing my security deposit. It was the perfect plan. And that's kind of a douchebag move. Uh, but don't worry. She did live happily ever after. She actually ended up moving. Uh, out to Las Vegas, and by all reports, she is doing well, and he could kiss her badunka dunk. And that, folks, is the story of the Miami landlord who doubled the OnlyFans model's rent just because he found out she was on OnlyFans, right? So to put this story, in my opinion, on the story, to wrap it up, put a nice little bow on it, uh, my takeaways are this. Was it illegal? No, not at all. And, folks, we got a big problem out there in this industry with tenants like, you can't do that. I know my rights. My sister's brother's cousin's uncle is a lawyer. I'm going to sue you. Fuck you, Billy Bob. No, you're not. All right? No, you're not. Okay? Nobody cares what your sister's brother's uncle's roommates think. Like, bro, fuck off. Right? If you're going to threaten to sue somebody, people, please know the laws. Okay? What the landlord did, not illegal in any way. I support freedom. I support the landlord's right to make this decision, right? Looking at it from 10,000 feet and up, I do not ever want to see legislation that would force a landlord uh, to have to rent an apartment uh, to a person uh, who he's uncomfortable uh, with, right? I, I don't like that, okay? I feel like the landlord, from a legal perspective, I do not want the government to be able to step into the freedoms of American landlords. I feel he was well within his rights, which he was legally, and I wouldn't want to see that change from a legal perspective. Now, from a moral perspective, I think the guy's a fucking douchebag, right? If this girl was our tenant, we'd have no issues with that, okay? Wouldn't bother us one bit. Does she pay her rent on time? Great. Does she piss off the other tenants? No? Okay, great. She pays. She doesn't cause problems. I'm so happy for her that her business took off and she's now a multimillionaire. Hell, I want to do whatever I can to keep her at this point because I now have a millionaire tenant. You know who pays rent on time? People with a bunch of money. You know who doesn't pay rent? People that don't have enough money for the rent, right? So I would be doing everything I possibly could to keep this tenant in the unit, right? I think it makes more business sense, and I also think he's just a fucking prick. I would, I would not do that. I would not support anybody doing that uh, from a moral perspective. But again, from a legal perspective, he was well within his rights, and I do not think it is the job of the United States government to come in and dictate morality, right? It's a very slippery slope when we have the government coming in and dictating what private uh, property owners and businesses uh, can and cannot do with their property and their products. So I, I think the right for him to do that should continue, but... At no point should other landlords in the industry or other people dealing with this guy uh, be afraid to say, hey, bro, you're a fucking prick because you are a fucking prick, bro. Don't be a fucking prick. And I also think you're not a very good businessman. But, hey, that's just my opinion. That's what's so great about America. I can have my opinion. That prick can, has his, can have his opinion. She could run her business, man. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got some. Or, no. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. But hers just happens to be a lot more valuable than yours.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.